At the age of about 17, I found an old saxophone in the attic uh, at home in Mossside, Manchester, where we were living. My father was uh, originally was put on the fiddle, violin, should I say. I tried to present myself as John Roadhouse, but it doesn't work. So I'm stuck with Johnny Roadhouse. In the 20s, uh, the, the violinists, people who were playing violin, went on to this new instrument, the saxophone, becoming popular. And they playing the gigs and things, and earning a living, and how I came into what they might call the uh, the more popular side of the business, the more, uh, as they say, we call it the big time. Uh, Manchester has been very good to me, and uh, I'm trying to be as good as I can back to Manchester. I don't know why. I mean, there's always something happening, whether it's the uh, the climate or the uh, the layout of the city. Uh, there's everything going on here. The, the clubs. Uh, there were loads of jazz clubs here in the in in, in the fifties and, and sixties and uh, jazz clubs that I don't think existed anywhere else. From Manchester here, Man Manchester musicians, sorry, had emigrated to the big scene in London and uh, they recommended me to uh, some of the bands down in London. We were told, musicians were told, now listen to records, listen to radio, listen to your favourite players, listen to all these, and try and copy them. So I left the Palais and became a fisherman for two years, if you don't mind, out in the North Sea. To cut a long story short, he took over as conductor of the band and uh, the rest is history because it became a very famous orchestra as the Northern Variety Orchestra and then the Northern Dance Orchestra, the NDO it was called. And I became Principal Woodward did that for, uh, uh, well, for 35 years eventually, believe it or not. One of the great experiences I had of, of uh, symphonic work was playing under Sir John Barbarolli, who uh, reformed the Halley Orchestra. That, I found this shop here that we're actually in now, 52 years ago. I've been here 52 years, and it was it was uh, up for sale at four thousand five hundred pounds. Uh, uh, a music shop come teaching establishment because and there are lots of musicians in this town uh, in this country today uh, benefited from coming here. The Oasis used to come in the shop. We used to sell them cheap guitars, then they used to bring them back, loud money, but you better one. I find it hard to to assimilate this at my age as to why people and the youngsters like what they actually hear. Because some of the, you don't hear live music ever. You can't, don't hear live music, even symphony orchestra. Everything you hear now comes out of a loudspeaker. All musicians never die. They just take away the quarter sign. Thank you. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, uh, well, I don't know I'm proof of that because uh, I managed it for eight, 84, 80, nearly 84 years, but I mean, it's come to an end sometime, of course.